Hey, son. Congratulations on getting three strikes in a row for the very first time. That's what we call in the business a turkey. He he he. Of course, in baseball, three strikes means you're out. Now I know that it is also a turkey in bowling. And all this time, I thought someone was calling me a turkey. <laughs> Nah, it's just an old boy expression. Besides, you know what they call me around here. The Turkey Queen. Ha 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 Now, are you ready for your next lesson? In a minute, Mom. But first, I have to go pee. Maybe I shouldn't have drank all those Dr. Peppers so close together. Oh, it's the Silly Dick logo again. I mean, the Silver Dick logo. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, real funny, Andrew. So, Dick, what brings you here to spare me my anus on this fine day? I'm really mad as hell. Didn't you hear about what that damn spunky gal kid did? Billy Spunky Gal? Ha ha ha. What kind of mischief did Silly Billy cause this time? Well, if you must know. This time, Billy Spunky Gal went to the local TV station. When he got there, he hacked all of the kids' TV shows to make the characters on them sound like they're saying curse words. Every single kids' program on Nick Jr., Disney Jr., PBS Kids, Universal Kids, and every other TV show and channel, made for kids, now have people swearing in them. Even though cursing in kids' TV shows, is forbidden, by the Federal Communications Commission. And now because of Billy's stupid prank, there are now kids going around, and yelling, cuss words in public. So, that would explain... Why I've been getting cussed out by a bunch of five-year-olds all day. <laughs> oh my gosh! That sounds terrible! Did Louis Spunky Gal get in big trouble for it? Yes he did. He had the FBI called on him. He was sentenced to five years in prison. And his mom and dad are having to pay a $300,000 fine. He's being charged with a hate crime, for tampering, with kid-friendly content, and for brainwashing, children to swear like sailors. He has done so much damage, to children everywhere. Well, at least he's spending some well-deserved time, in the slammer for it. That's where you're wrong there, Andrew. Unfortunately, Billy Spunky Gal escaped from Toontastic Correctional Facility at 0900 this morning. But why did you come over here all upset over it? Because, as soon as he escaped, he even added cuss words to all the former Deke Entertainment shows and ruined them. Now I can't even watch the Super Mario Brothers Super Show without Mario and Luigi cussing each other out. And now, I'm really pissed off. As a former Deke Entertainment employee, I'm ready to get my revenge on that little punk. Well, good luck trying to find the little ragamuffin. Do you have any idea where he may be at? I think I've got a good hunch as to where he is. I'm gonna need you to come with me though, Janet. I don't want to do something that I might regret.
Finally, now that I've broken out of jail, I get to enjoy a whole day, here at Pump It Up. And the best part is, the FBI, and my mom and dad, don't even know I'm here. I knew, pulling off that prank, of adding swear words, to kids TV shows, would someday pay off. Ha 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 ha. Now, which inflatable, should I do first? Uh oh. It's that quirky kid in bed woman again. She's supposed to be at the bowling alley. What is she doing here, at Pump It Up? Oi, Chris, stunty gal. You're in a lot of trouble, aren't you, son? Frankly, Mrs. Kid in bed. I don't give a damn. I could spend my whole life here, if I wanted to. And why do you even care, that I'm in trouble? Because there is someone who brought me over here that you caused a lot of trouble to with your antics as well. He has asked me to come over here just to talk to you and to prevent himself from kicking the crap out of you. Just who could that possibly be? Geek. You brought that stupid looking dick logo, over here too? That thing doesn't scare me. Oh yeah? Well, Billy, Chris, spunky gal. What is this I hear about you, adding cuss words, to kids TV shows? Not only that, you also added cuss words, to all the old Deke entertainment shows too. And now, you've made me very angry. I don't care. Stupid talking dick logo. I just wanted to spend the day, here at Pump It Up. Well, is your day at the indoor inflatable park worth, brainwashing children, all over the world, to make them cuss, like a bunch of drunk sailors in public? Yes, it was worth the effort, just to have a little fun. Was it also worth pissing off, a scary logo, to make a bunch of kids shows, that he worked on, Way too mature for kids, with all the offensive language? Yes. Yes it was. Now, go to hell, you stupid talking dick face. Ah, uh oh. Better cover your ears, folks. Because here comes another one of Deke's blood-hurdling screams. Oh my god, that logo is way too scary for me. And he scared me so bad, that I blew my butt apart. And now, my shorts are wet and slimy. And it smells really bad. I'm going back to jail, where that stupid logo, can't bother me anymore. No 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 Karuni, Deek. I think that was one of your funniest scares ever. You scared him so much that you made him poop his pants. Now he has to go back to prison with wet and soggy pair of shorts. I do feel bad for that kid though. You can tell, he really needs Jesus in his life. It pays to listen to chaos, but not to work here. We wish somebody'd pay us. Man, this is really embarrassing. I can't believe that stupid dick logo scared me like that. And I'm now sitting here with a poopy pair of shorts. And I'm not even allowed to change clothes. I am never getting out of this jail cell and never going to pump it up ever again. I don't want to deal with that blasted dick logo. 
ever again. <laughs> Special thanks to Colin Hildebrand for inspiring this episode of Deke Logo Scares Kid in Bed.